Welcome back all of you beautiful slackers to another video brought to you by the Slack and Armchair supporters. This one's going to be a match preview for Liverpool versus Southampton. And as you know by now, I'm going to go through how I think the match is going to go. I'm going to give you a score prediction and I'm going to give you a lineup prediction. All of which has been extremely difficult this week for this game in particular. Um, especially after the exploits at the weekend after beating Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final. Delighted with the result, um, not so much delighted with the, the injury list getting bigger. Um, so, yeah, before I go through all of that, please hit the like button on the video and also subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate you all so much. So let's get into it. Um, firstly, how I think the match is going to go. I think it's going to be quite difficult. Um, I think we should, have, we should have far too much for Southampton um, because, at the end of the day, we are a better team. We should be winning this game. The only thing is that the injuries just keep piling up and piling up. Um, there is obviously the injury to Ryan Gravenberg now from that challenge from Casado during the, the final. Um, then also apparently Elliot was limping at the end of the game. Endo has taken a knock um, on top of you know, Trent being out, Sobersly, Salah, Nunes, Jota, Jones, Allison, Matip, um, and then like by Chetich, Thiago and Doak, they're longer term injuries. So obviously they're still going to be out. So this, I think it will be difficult. It was the fifth round of the FA Cup. Like the, for a club like Southampton, this is a good chance for them to actually just go and throw everything at Liverpool and try and get a cup run. You know, if they're not in, I'm, I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked at their standing in the league table um, in the championship. But, um, you know, this might be like their thing that they want to do is go and have a good run in the, a good cup run in the FA Cup. So they could throw absolutely everything at Liverpool. Liverpool might not expect it. Liverpool might go into the game a bit overconfident or a bit, just exhausted um, and that might cause an upset which is what the FA Cup is notorious for hopefully it doesn't happen because obviously we want to win everything um, but yeah that's how I, I think it's I think it might be a bit cagey I think Liverpool might be a bit cagey in this one um, I'm hoping not I'm hoping we will just go out and absolutely batter them but again I wanted that to happen on Sunday against Chelsea. I predicted 3-1, but that did not happen. So that's how I think the match is going to be. Um, that's the, the extra injury news as well I've just been through. So now I'm going to go for my score prediction. Um, yeah, I, I do think it's going to be a bit cagey. But like I said, I think Liverpool will have too much for Southampton. So... That's the score I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with a 2-1. I think it will be close. Hopefully not as close as the the cup final, but 2-1. Um, I'm not sure who will score either. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a very interesting one. So I'm going to, now going to go through a lineup prediction as well. Um, so this was actually very difficult. The lineup prediction. Um, I'll just put it up on the screen here. Um, I. Yeah, it's it's very difficult to fill in the midfield. Um, I'm I'm. This could be horribly wrong as well. Um, I've gone I've gone for this because just judging by the substitutions that Klopp made, um, for instance, he brought Kanate off on ninety minutes, brought on Kwanzaa. So that says to me that he was looking to rest Kanate so Kanate could play the next game, um, and then Van Dijk would rest the next game, being this one, if you know what I mean. Just given that rotation. And the same can be said for the likes of, well, I've done the same, but I've put, put Simicat in to replace Robertson. Um, and also the likes of Gakpo and Diaz came off. Um, so I think that that's the reason they did get brought off in the cup final, is to rest them for the next coming games. So they're not putting in too much work. Um and yeah, so this is my lineup. I've gone with Kelleher in goal. Um, of course, he's the only keeper we have at the moment, really, other than Adrian. But it's 
always a bit scary having him in goal. So, but Kelleher, what an absolute banger of a performance against Chelsea. I cannot believe the stuff he kept out of that net. Absolutely incredible. And yeah, quite possibly the world's best number two goalkeeper. Um, then I'll go with Simicast at left back, Joe Gomez at right back. And as you can see by me putting Joe Gomez at right back, it's because I've had to, we've had to, I've had to utilize Connor Bradley, but I've had to put him into midfield because just nobody in midfield. Um, then I've gone with Kwanzaa and Konate, the centre back pair. And as I said, I think just the rotation, the, the substitutes that Klopp made, I think pointed to that being the reason why that they'd be playing this game. Then Endo in midfield alongside McAllister and Bradley. Again, Endo has supposedly picked up a knock. Um, at the time of making this, it's three o'clock on a on Tuesday, so the day before the game, the games will be tomorrow evening. Um, so as making this, there's been no actual news. Only Ryan, only the fact that Ryan Gravenberg is definitely not going to be playing. Um, but I've heard that Endo's picked up a knock, and Elliot has. Elliot was limping at the end of the game, but that might just have been a bit of fatigue because I think he played. I think he played the full hundred and twenty minutes. So that's yeah. So I'm just sort of putting that aside and just going with how I think it will be. Gravenberg is definitely not going to be in, but I think Endo will be there alongside McAllister. McAllister was brought off as well um, on ninety minutes for was it McConnell who came on or Clark? One of them two came on for him, um, and then I've gone Bradley up right on the right side of midfield because he played there in the cup final he actually played up in the right wing so that might be a change as well it might be Elliot for Bradley in my lineup um that's yeah other than that there's no other um midfield that I midfield I think can go in there I was I was thinking McConnell could go in there um the only thing is when I just tried to build the lineup um it doesn't have like the academy players like, I couldn't get McConnell or Clark or Dan, because I thought Dan's might get um, a run out as well, especially being in the FA Cup. Klopp does like to play kids in these cup competitions. So I was thinking McConnell could be in there in midfield and Dan's would be up top. That would also give Bradley the rest. It would give Elliot the rest um, if we played Dan through the middle. But I just could not find them in the with the images in the lineup prediction, so I couldn't. You know, they, they just, apparently they just don't exist if it's a lineup builder. So, unfortunately, I couldn't put them in there. But I would not be surprised if that happens. I wouldn't be surprised if Dan goes through, Dan's goes through the middle where Gakpo is and Gakpo goes out on the, the right-hand side, giving Elliot that break. And then, say, Mc, uh, McConnell or Clark go in instead of Connor Bradley. That is very, that could very well happen as well. That is probably how I would have done it myself, only I just physically couldn't. So, this is how I've built it. Um, Luis Diaz on the left, um, again, he was rest well, not rested, but he was brought off, um, on 90 minutes. Um, Elliot on the right, and then Gakpo through the middle. And that's pretty much the height of it, unless the likes of Sobosly, Salah, or Nunez come back in. Trent's definitely out for a while, um, unless one of them three are fit. I don't see it being much different, other than maybe Dan's up top, and maybe Clark or McConnell through the middle, especially playing the likes of Southampton in an FA Cup game. Klopp might opt to do that, um, rest some you know, bigger players for the next games that's coming up because there's then the Premier League as well at the weekend. So that could, that's my lineup prediction anyway. That's how, yeah, that's as much as I could do really with it. So just to go through that in full, that's Kelleher in goal. Then on the left, Left back it's Simicas, right back is Joe Gomez, centre back pairing of Kwanzaa and Konate. In the middle of the park you've got Endo, McAllister and Bradley, and then up top is Diaz, Gakpo and Elliot. Um, let me know how I done, guys. Um, if you think that there's anything different, if you would change anything, how you think the lineup should be, or if you've got any score predictions, get in the chat, get in the comments. You know, I'm happy to hear from you. So. Yeah, get it in there. And I'm going to be live for this game. It's tomorrow evening, 8 o'clock kickoff. So I'll be live 10, 15 minutes before the game, like I always am. And it's coming from Anfield, so Liverpool with the home advantage. And yeah, hopefully another win and carry on to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup.
So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys who liked and also hit that subscribe button. And, um, yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed that cup final against Chelsea because, wow, it was an intense game. Um, not lots of goals, but ooh, absolutely crazy to watch. I know I certainly enjoyed it anyway. So, yeah, guys, I hope you did too. And until tomorrow night's live stream, up the fucking Reds.